Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Thursday morning. It's the 27th day of April 2023. You're watching the morning briefing, and today, a sunny and warm day. Sacramento yesterday hit 90 degrees for the first time this year. Probably have another hundred of those to come in the next five and a half months. And while we'll have another couple coming up here in the next uh, few days, well, it may be a while after this stretch before we hit 90 degrees again. We've got big changes coming in our temperatures. So the, a couple of things we're going to talk about. The warm temperatures we're going to see the next few days. The colder weather that's coming. And the rain and snow that's coming too. So that's what I want to focus on this morning. Because, yeah, once we kind of break the ice here in late April and going into May, you might think that sunny in 80s or 90s is here to stay. But it really isn't. Not yet. So let's talk about some of those changes. Let's... Um, Let's start with this. This is the this is the NAM. Now, the NAM for some reason always underdoes the temperatures, but this is a snapshot of the surface temperatures today at five o'clock. And as I scroll over this, what you'll see here is that it's coming with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. These are too low. It'll be it'll be low to mid 90s. But the thing that I want to pay, point out is the pressure gradient, and that's the black lines here. So these are the isobars, and there really isn't anything in the way of an onshore gradient. So what you want to look for is these bars, these lines to be more closely stacked, like they are up here in Oregon. Um, so that means we don't really have anything in the way of an onshore flow or a delta flow. And then again, this is the snapshot of today at, uh, at 5 o'clock. Let's fast forward to Friday at 5 o'clock. Yeah, there might be a light onshore flow. You can see that right along the immediate coast, there is a little bit of cooling here, probably an indication they're starting to see some marine layer build along the coast, but no impact for the valley of the foothills or the Sierra, where temperatures will once again in the valley top 90 degrees. Friday, probably the warmest day we will see. Let's see if there's a change on Saturday. This is Saturday afternoon. All right, I know it's subtle, but you can see that at least here on the north coast, there's more of an onshore gradient, maybe a bit of a, a delta breeze in the afternoon, but for the valley, It'll be another day with temperatures at or above uh, 90 degrees. But I do think there may be a bit of a, a delta breeze into the evening hours. So again, this is Saturday at 5 o'clock. Let's go ahead another 24 hours and you'll see the big change. This is Sunday at 5 o'clock. All right, now you can see where these isobars are. They're really stacked up here, meaning there's a strong onshore flow. Actually, Sunday afternoon might even get somewhat windy. And then look at the cool air. Remember, we, this entire area was covered in these reddish colors, and now there's just a few spots of it, meaning the temperatures are down into the 70s and 80s, and coastal areas are probably in the 50s and 60s, and places like Napa and um, Fairfield and Vacaville may only stay in the uh, low 70s during the day. So again, let me, that's Sunday uh, at, um, at 5 o'clock, and then Saturday at 5 o'clock. Yeah, look at, look at that difference. So that's that's really warm except on along the immediate coast and then 24 hours later we have cooling coming in and that's just the beginning of the cooling another way i want to show that is the temperatures at um at 500 millibars and we're going to go out a little bit longer in time here so this is up around 18,000 feet or so here's our ridge of high pressure and this is uh this is by i fast forwarded to saturday morning this is, here's our ridge of high pressure. We have warm air, relatively speaking, aloft. It's minus 10 degrees Celsius, so it's plenty cold up there at 18,000 feet. But it's really interesting what happens next week as this pattern changes. Let's, this is uh, into the day on Sunday. Here comes the next trough, so it's kicking that ridge out. But this isn't just a trough. This is a classic cutoff low. And you see these, air, these uh, colors of gray in here. These are temperatures that are around minus 22 to minus 25 degrees uh, Celsius. So a big drop here. And then here's the cutoff low. This is Monday night. Now watch how this thing moves next week. It just drops down the coast and then just spins around. This is into Wednesday. This is Thursday. You can just see little areas of energy spinning around this low off the coast. This is into the day Thursday. This is into the day Friday. And this model takes it out a little bit faster than the previous model did. But if I back this up, you can just, and just kind of play it in fast motion, you can just see the dumbbell motion around here. Everything just kind of pivoting around that low. And what that means is that all of next week, we will see temperatures below average. And we'll also have chances of rain that I'll show you here in just a second, as well as Sierra snow. 
So if you don't, if you aren't a fan of temperatures up around you know 90 degrees, we'll see the next couple of days. This pattern that we're looking at next week is what you <laughs> want to see. All right, let's talk about the chances of rain. Uh, this is I'll pick it up on Sunday. Nothing happening Sunday. On Monday. There likely will be some Sierra showers. I think we're going to leave the valley and the foothills dry on Monday. But on Tuesday, there'll be better chances of rain. This is Tuesday morning right here. Scattered showers. So it's not as if we're going to see steady all-day rain, but we will see occasional showers on Tuesday and then again on Wednesday with Sierra snow above 6,000 feet. And you get the on again, off again nature here. And then I think there's another blob here on Thursday. That's Thursday afternoon. So yeah, next week just looks cool and unsettled. And yeah, the snow level will probably vary between six and 7,000 feet. And there still might be some CR showers on Friday. So as you can see, there are some big changes coming. Well, we'll have temperatures in the 90s, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. By Sunday, that temperature drops. And all of next week looks cool and somewhat unsettled. Like I said, I don't expect to see all, any all-day rains. But for those of you that um, that work outdoors, you'll notice the difference. You may have to work around some rain here and there. And for those of you that uh, maybe you've got a roof off, you've got to pay attention to the forecast over the next couple of days as we will have enough rain to maybe cause some issues. I think the valley could end up with a couple of tenths of an inch of rain by the time the, the, uh, the week is done. So not, nothing big, but boy, it is certainly going to be a noticeable change from the warm weather we have now to the cool weather for next week. So that's everything I've got for you this morning, kind of giving a briefing of the changes that we do have in store. But today, sunny and warm. It being Thursday, I will be on KCRA at 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. And there will be a Facebook live chat tonight at 8 o'clock. And I'll also talk more about the area rivers that will be rising over the next couple of days with the snow melt. So we'll get deeper into that tonight on Facebook. In the meantime, have it a great have, have a great day. Make it a good one. And I'll talk to you later.